there are many operators in JavaScript for performing numerous operations. And all of these operators can be categorized based on the number of operands that they require. In this video, I'll be using examples to explain the three categories of operators, which is unary, binary, and ternary. The differences between these categories of operators is that unary operators require one operand, binary operators require two operands, ternary operators require three operands. We'll look at the examples that falls under each category but first let's understand what an operand is. An operand in an operation is the data that is being operated on. This operation can be calculation, can be assignment, it can be anything that operates on that data. If you look at this example here where I'm using the sum operator, you can see this operation here is a sum operation but the data that is being operated on here is 20 and 30. 20 is an operand and 30 is an operand in this operation. So now let's look at the different examples that falls under the different categories of operators. Here is some stuff I just pasted here. So first we're going to start with the unary operators and there are a lot of unary operators in JavaScript. We'll be looking at these five. We'll look at type of, delete, the unary plus, the increment and the decrement. Let's start from the type of. And the type of operator in JavaScript returns the data type of a value. As you can see in this example here, we have this variable and then now we have this type of operator and as you can see, it requires only one operand. If I come here and I console.log example type of and I come here and I run this file, you can see this is a string which is the data type of this value. If I change this to a number and I come here and I run this, you can see we have number. The second unary operator we'll be looking at is the delete operator and this operator can be used to delete values in an array or properties in an object. So with the delete operator, you pass the index of the value that you want to delete in the array. Here we pass the index of two, which means we want to delete four. And in this object here, we specify the property, which is the operand that we want to delete from this object. Now, if I come here and I say console.log array and I say console.log object here, if I run this, you can see the array is now two, three and one empty item because we deleted it and in the object we have name decode and we don't have age because we have deleted that property the next unary operator we'll be looking at is the unary plus operator now don't confuse the unary plus operator with the arithmetic sum operator we'll look at the arithmetic sum operator later but the unary sum operator tries to convert a value to a number and as you can see in this example here we have the unary plus and then we have this string which means we want to attempt to convert this string to a number if i come here and i console.log example unary plus and I come here and I run this file you see 20 which is now a number the next unary operator we'll be looking at is the increment operator here we have an example increment variable and we pass it a value of 20 and then we use the increment operator you can see it requires only one operand which is the example increment variable now if I come here and I say console.log example increment if I come here and I run this file you can see the value was 20 after using this operator we now have 21 and lastly for unary operators will look at the decrement unary operator here we have example decrement which is 20 we have the decrement operator here and as you can see it requires only one operand if i come here and i run this by console logging the example decrement after using the unary decrement operator we now have 19. let's look at the second category which is binary operators like i mentioned binary operators requires two operands the arithmetic operators in javascript are binary operators you can see in this first example here here we have plus minus divide and of course there are a couple more of them you can see with the plus operator we have two operands we have one before the operator and one after the operator you can see that in the case of this plus operator this minus operator this divide operator and there are a lot of them if you come here and we run this file you can see 10 plus 20 30 20 minus 5 15 30 divided by 6 is 5 because they are binary operators for example you cannot have 10 plus because here we have only one operand and if I try to run this, you see we get an error, an unexpected token. So with binary operators, they require two operands. Comparison operators in JavaScript are also binary operators. We have the greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. If I run this file, you can see 50 greater than 80 false. 
10 less than 50 true 2 greater than or equal to 2 true 6 less than or equal to 9 true and also the assignment operator in javascript is a binary operator because here we have the operator we have the operand on the left which is the first operand we have the operand on the right which is the second operand this assignment operator involves two operands to carry out its operation which means it is a binary operator and lastly we have the ternary operator and in javascript there is only one ternary operator which is the conditional operator ternary operators requires three operands and as you can see in this example here we have this call variable with 80 and because we use the ternary operator here which consists of a question mark and a colon you can see that we have three operands the first operand is the condition our condition here is score greater than 50 the second operand is the truth expression which means if this condition is true this will be returned and the third operand is the expression that will be returned if our condition is false if i come here and i say console.log score rating come here and i run this file you can see we have good because our condition is true 80 is greater than 50 if i come here and i have 40 40 is not greater than 50 so that's false and then this expression will be returned if i try this you can see we now have poor now there are so many operators in javascript the ones i use here are just few examples but i've been able to show you how these operators can be categorized under unary binary and ternary operators if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share with others subscribe and also turn on notifications for more concepts in javascript i will be simplifying on my channel